today I'm gonna film this video in English because I just realized I've never tried it before. I'm gonna start with the Shallow Tilbury's Hollywood Flawless Filter, the shade Fair. Isn't it cute? <laughs> this is the trouble size since I bought it in Sephora online. I wasn't sure about the color, so I just bought the small one. This is a kind of multi use base. It could be an illuminating primer, or you can mix it with the foundation to add more glow, or you can just apply after the foundation to make your skin look healthier. But I'm just gonna use it by its own. As you can see, it doesn't have any coverage, but definitely you can see some glowy, some glow on my cheek. As far as I know, it's not available in Korea. I don't really know why, but I bought this in Sephora in Spain. Basically, today's makeup is current favorite makeup with the products I bought in Europe, but not technically European cosmetics. Some of them are, half of them are from the States. I'm gonna use some concealer from NARS. Guardian Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This shade is a bit brighter than my skin, so I'm gonna use it as a natural highlighter today. So, under my eyes area and nose, like wherever I want to highlight. Definitely here. It looks like a bit too much, but the good part of the flawless filter is even if I put this much of concealer, it doesn't get crazy or cakey at all. The HD finishing powder, the color translucent. Actually, I'm not really a big fan of this one. The particle itself is fine, but I have a feeling that it doesn't really last long. So I just set my skin, especially the part of eyebrows and eyelid. It's been a while since I've filmed the makeup video, so actually, I'm a bit awkward. <laughs> Next. Next step, I'm gonna use the brow pan from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like this kind of pan. So you can draw your eyebrows just like yours. <laughs> you need to be really careful. It's actually drawing the brow, so it could be weird. I have the eyebrows from here to here, so I'm just gonna extend a bit more. Am I filming well? Not sure though. Like this. I'm gonna draw some address in here. Should be fine. I would like to lift a bit the beginning part of the eyebrow, so I'm gonna use this brow gel from NYX Control Freak. It's not super hard wax, but it could lift my brow a bit. Mm. It's pretty, isn't it? I'm not sure if you can talk through the camera, but I wish. I'm not gonna lift everything, just some beginning part and I'm just gonna brush in more natural way here as well I didn't contour okay let's go I'm gonna use this Kika Cosmetics Sculpting Touch Creamy Stay Contour this is from Italy by the way and it's like this kind of Stay Contour Recently in Korea, I guess people don't really use this kind of stick contour, but if you are addicted to it, it's really, it's really addictive. <laughs> like here and nose as well. So you're gonna make this, this kind of shape of shade and here. And personally, I prefer to put here for my jawline. I'm just gonna use my finger and just blend it out naturally. Just make sure that you blend it out until the hairline, until here. Nose contour. Moving on. This would be the most favorite stuff I'm gonna introduce you today. This is the Rare Beauty's 
melting blush the color nearly neutral actually i'm not really a big fan of cream blush but it's so pretty i just love it so the color is really natural rosy color and i'm gonna show you how it works if you blend it melts a bit oh so this is melting blush <laughs> It just blended so well, so naturally. I'm really sad that Herbity is not available in Korea. Anyway, I'm gonna use it. Oh, by the way, it has a magnetic as well. I'm gonna use this area. And I'm gonna apply now with the contour I put before. I'm just like, so natural. Oh, it's such a rosy toned gorgeous color if you have a chance to go to Sephora in another country just try this one you will love it just after applying the blush I have a feeling that my makeup is kind of done <laughs> and here as well it has a little mirror which is not really practical but could be practical if I don't you know if I need to fix my lips but I don't have any mirror or whatever I like it so we're gonna go to the eye makeup right now so I'm missing all of it I'm gonna use the color no no I'm gonna use the eyeliner from NYX that's the point hella fine is this a name of the color anyway it's black I have sort of long and small double lids so if I start from here it's gonna be like <laughs> so the way I found to draw this kind of eyeline is just draw the outer part first if you try to start from here it's gonna be so hard because it's gonna fold in the middle so extend a bit as you want why it's not working ah, okay And keep opening your eyes, just draw the inner part. And basically your line is ready. It's just like see a bit downstairs and just make sure to draw the middle line. This part is the part you cannot see when you're opening your eyes. So just make sure that the line is smooth. and make it a bit thicker as you want as you can see the shape when I'm closing my eyes it's like <laughs> it's a bit weird but when I'm opening my eyes it's just perfect straight line as you can see this is the way how you draw the upper eye line when you have a long small double lid that's it um, I'm gonna fix a bit more after I apply the mascara Use some eyelash color and color as much as you can. I'm gonna use some lashes today. This is Ardell's accent. <laughs> Not sure about the proper name, but 301. Okay, it looks like this. Where is the glue in? Ah! This is the glue inside of another lash. This 301 doesn't contain any glue. And I would like to cut the inner corner of the eyelash and just attach in my outer part of the eyes. That would be really fine. Get rid of the glue and just cut it to half. And the shorter part is the one we're gonna use today. So the longest part is gonna go to the edge. Mm. I think it's fine. Mm. Perfect. I'm gonna fill my waterline with my eyeliner. And when you think your lashes are completely dried, apply the mascara for the rest of the lashes. It's gonna look amazing. 
and personally i curl the bottom lashes as well because i have some bottom lashes so i'm gonna curl this as well and put some mascaras as well actually i should i should have done it when i curl my upper lashes but i just forgot it put some mascaras in under lashes as well mm. And the last part is lips. I'm gonna use this. There isn't any mark in here, so L'Oreal Paris. It was like plumping lip gloss. Actually, I don't know the name, the sticker is gone. Before applying that, I'm gonna add a bit color with the blush I used before. This gloss has some plumping, plumping effect. <laughs> if you wipe up it after applying, it's gonna be minty, and your lips are gonna be a bit bigger. It has a slightly pink color with some pearls, but actually, you barely can see the pearls, so it's fine. It's done. I guess I would like to put some earrings okay um, and I also would like to tie my hair a bit I'll be right back Thick leather jacket I bought in vintage shop, so I don't actually have any relation with this. And I tied my hair like this. Today I tried to film the makeup video in English for the first time. Hope you guys like it and see you in the next video again. Bye! <laughs>